one thing I've been thinking about is that um, anti-Semitism has been on the rise um, beyond college campuses, right? Um, we, we've known this, Forbes, we've covered it. This has been even prior to the Hamas attack that our country has been um, um, really facing a rise in anti-Semitism. Um, we also know that um, there has been a rise in um, hate language um, hard stop against all groups, um, or I should say against many groups. Um, arguably, um, that began um, in 2000, the 2016 presidential election in which um, language began to be used in a way um, that was pejorative and derogatory um, against different identities or groups based our groups or individuals based on identity um, we have since seen that um, from senators and members of Congress on both sides of the table there's I'm very agnostic about this um, it's you know it's both sides um, us focusing so um, closely on universities and what's going on, are we missing um, the bigger picture, the need to address some, um, you know, re redefine or readdress the way that we should be using language um, in a pejorative manner against people based on their identity? Sure. I, I don't think it started in 2016. 2016 might have given uh, more open leeway for people to be, but I think it, it more revealed an ugly side um, of what of what's been going on um, for, for many years. And yes, I think the reason to focus on universities and really, honestly, by the time you get to university, it's too late. So uh, I, I think we should be focusing a lot more on K through 12, to be honest with you, because um, look, from a practical perspective, study after study after study has confirmed that hateful rhetoric of any kind leads almost directly to conduct. And that is an, it is an absolutely horrible thing that we're seeing this spike in, in, in rhetoric because it will inevitably lead to more and more violence against every group. Uh, you know, we're talking about anti-Semitism, but what starts with the Jews never ends with the Jews. And um, it's it's really, really important to, to fight this kind of hate together. So I, I actually think we need to start a lot earlier than the university level. And, you know, kids aren't born hating. They, they learn it somewhere. And um, whatever we can do in, in a school system, which is, again, an extension of, of the government, so I think the, the, the kind of enforcing the kind of policies I'm talking about, for example, like Tinker, really, really important because it can save lives. And so I think you're right. Focusing on universities, that's a backstop. Title VI, for example, is not meant to be this sort of disinfectant, cure-all, class action way of dealing with the problem like anti-Semitism. It's meant to be when there's a severe and pervasive problem at a particular university where people are not being able to engage in an educational opportunity, we can fix that. But you're not going to solve the problem with a Title VI case. What you need are the enforcement of standards, again, like Tinker, that say, hey, this isn't appropriate here. And, and to teach kids not only that you can't do this, but why you shouldn't do this and why it's inappropriate. And I think that's really where we need to be focusing. 